This is gonna be part one of Tori, Bert, and Lucy's favorite things, our 2021 holiday gift guide. This year, I've decided to do something a little bit different, inspired by Oprah. And I have to show you while, before we get started here. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about our plan today with these two knuckleheads in the background. So of course I was inspired by Oprah. I don't know if you remember, but back in the day, Oprah used to have her favorite things. They were like legitimate things that were her favorites. Like maybe her and Gail's, that's her best friend, right? Um, they're like favorite things that they had really been using throughout the year. And so that was my inspiration for what we're gonna talk about. I kind of broke it up into three categories. So today we're gonna talk about things that are like the inside inside toys or things to keep you busy while you're inside. Tomorrow I'll go live again at 4 p.m. and those things will be kind of like the outside gifts. And then on Wednesday, the third day, it's gonna be kind of the things that are left over. <laughs> but those are gonna be things that are good for like every day. So today are like inside gifts, tomorrow outside gifts, and then the third day are things that are good for every day, all day, whatever. And these are things that me and the dogs really, really love. So are you ready to get started? So first thing is first, I can't show you our big topple because they're in the freezer right now getting stuffed with special Thanksgiving goodies. Um, but the dogs are, they're interested. They're already, they're already sniffing away. Bert's trying to jump up and grab this um, because the dogs love the topple so, so, so much. Let me see, maybe I can lower this. It's day one, guys, so this will get better as the week goes on, or at least theoretically it will. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, so this is the topple. This is our hands down favorite, favorite toy. It is made by West Paw. I love it for so many reasons. First of all, it's made in the United States, so that's really great. It's made right in Bozeman, Montana. It says it right on the toy. And this is kind of the replacement Wait, you guys are dismantling my display. <laughs> this is like the replacement to the Kong. We still use the Kong. I just gave the dogs a Kong this afternoon. But what I love about this is it just gives us so many more options for what we can put inside of it. It's easier to stuff. It's also a lot easier to clean. Um, the Kong can be a little bit, Lucy, moving my thing. The Kong can be a little bit difficult to clean. So that's why I like this. Um, and then there's a bigger size, this is the little one, but with the bigger one, you can kind of fit them together. So not only can you stuff it with food and let your dog play with it, but you could also put them together and make it into a puzzle that kind of rolls around and kibble can fall out of the holes or they can figure out how to take it apart. This is probably my number one gift pick and our number one favorite thing out of everything. <laughs> to go along, with our topple, uh, I want to suggest that you also purchase, and this is not going to work because I have the big ones are in the freezer and I can't get them out because the dogs will go crazy um, because they're already stuffed and they've got like uh, like a chew in them and they're getting ready. I'm going to do a thanks special Thanksgiving topple for tomorrow. So you're just going to have to kind of imagine, but there's these little things. This is called a dripper tipper, I believe I'm saying it correctly, um, by Sniffingtons. And they're really cool. This is another small, this is a very small business. Someone's making these. They're selling them on Etsy. Sniffingtons is the brand and they're 3D printed and they're designed specifically to fit in the hole of the topple. How cool is that? So what I love to use these for, and this is the bigger one, so it actually fits the bigger topple. And this is the smaller one. It fits a Kong or even um, the rubber toys from Soda Pup. We have a one shaped like a hamburger and one shaped like a sugar skull. And what's cool about the smaller one that's for the Kong and the Soda Pup toys is it has a magnet on the back. And so I, you might have seen one of my Kong hacks is I like to put all my Kongs in a bread pan and it fits six Kongs perfectly. With these magnets, it actually sticks to the bread pan, it holds them in place, and I can put the Kong on top and fill it with liquid and none of it will leak out. You might get like a little bit of leakage, um, but these are just so, so great. They make Kong filling so much easier if you love to fill and freeze your Kongs. 
and I think they're about eight dollars or or six to eight dollars a piece depending on the size and there are special holiday ones so for Halloween I got a skull and um, something else and then there's also for Christmas there's a snowflake there's a reindeer there's all kinds of really cool things and they just fit in this hole so that you can stuff your topple or your Kong or whatever with liquids and freeze them and not worry about it going everywhere and dripping everywhere. Along the same vein, today's theme is all things to keep you busy indoors. <laughs> so these are our favorite things that we use primarily indoors. Now, this is something that I love. This is kind of more for the dog mom. And so maybe you know a dog mom who's like a little bit extra. Obviously, if you're getting someone the dripper tipper, they're probably a little bit extra. So you might wanna pair it with some of these silicone molds. This, the blue ones are from a line called Celebrate It that's carried at Michael's. They're probably my favorite. They're made actually for like making candy. They're usually in like the candy or like DIY dessert section at Michael's and they're perfect for making dog treats. So I can, these are silicone, so they're oven safe and they're freezer safe. And so you could freeze bone broth. Just yesterday I made a really great green frozen topper using spinach and kale and the juice from a can of sardines. <laughs> and I, I think I threw it one or two sardines in there, blended it all up, froze it, and then I just demold them and I keep them in the freezer and I can put them on top of the dog's food whenever I want. Or if I want to be super extra over the top, I can use these little frozen things to decorate my topples, which I also love to do. And I, I would recommend that if you're getting any of these things as a gift, that maybe you get a can of pumpkin puree, plain pumpkin puree to go with it, because um, that's something that is not perishable, um, that you could kind of wrap up in the bag, and then that way the person who gets it can make something with it right away. So that's, I think, would be a really super great gift. Okay, moving right along with our gift ideas. Oh, actually, I forgot something in the cupboard. Let me go get it. <laughs> you can see that the dogs are really excited about this. So this is something I wanted to make sure to put on the gift guide. I just forgot to take it out before. This is a Nina, Nina Audison puzzle. So let me get so I can show you it a little bit better. Um, and so Bert's obviously super interested, and so is Lucy, in checking it out. And this is Nina Audison for Outward Hound. I was just making sure it was an Outward Hound one. Um, so she is just like this. She's really into dog enrichment and giving your dog's best life ever, which we're all into, right, if you're watching this. They love their puzzles so much. And this is our favorite one. We've tried a bunch of different ones um, and you can find reviews uh, on my YouTube and my blog and everything like that. But I particularly love this one because it has a lot of moving parts. So you can put treats in here. You can slide this door shut. You can put treats in the or kibbles in the hole here and slide this. They've got to slide it over to get them to drop out into there. And it's a really, really great puzzle. This is something that people can use again and again and again. It retails usually around $30. And what I especially love about this one is that none of these pieces come off. So although you should probably supervise your dog whenever they're doing any of these things, any puzzle that has pieces that snap off easily, for us, I'm not so worried about the dogs choking on them because I'm supervising, but they might dent it, chew on it in such a way that it doesn't fit back in the puzzle again. <laughs> and that would be a real bummer. So that's why I really like this one. Honestly, it, there's a few dings and nicks from the dogs, but Bert and Lucy are really rough on these. I mean, they go insane trying to get the kibble out of them, don't you? They go pretty crazy with their puzzles. Um, so that's why I really would recommend this particular one and I will, I will link to it as soon as we're done here. A couple, I have a couple other things to share with you. Of course, Bert is here. This is one more kind of similar thing. This is a lick mat by Soda Pup. So, um, you can see it has a really cool, this is the Halloween one, which I had to have because 
I love Halloween. Um, but there are lots of other different designs. There's a honeycomb one, which I'm probably going to get. And this is something where you can smear on pumpkin, yogurt, canned food. You can put scrambled eggs on here. You can do all kinds of things. I actually saw somebody use this for their cat and they put so they scrambled up eggs, put them on here, put this in the microwave, cooked the scrambled eggs, and they gave it to their cat to eat. And that was really, really creative. This is by Soda Pup, and I will put all the links in um, the IGTV when we're done here. So I really, really like this. And um, lots of people have been talking about this. It just took me a long time to buy one. But what finally got me to do it is that my dog Lucy hates the dog dryer that I have. So I have like a, it's like a professional groomer, like dryer. So it kind of looks like a, like a canister vacuum and then it has like the long hose and you can kind of like blow the water off the dogs. But Lucy's coat is very, very thick. So she really kind of like needs to be dried off. She needs the dryer. Hold on, I have to move this up so I'm not crouching down. Okay. So Lucy kind of like needs the dryer to get dried off, but she hates it. So I would have to put her in a harness because she would back out of her collar. So I'd put her in a harness and a leash and I'd have to lure her with so many treats and we would only get like a few minutes worth of drying in until she couldn't take it anymore and she had to get out of there. Until I got the licky mat or the lick mat from Soda Pop. And so what I'll do is I'll even put, I'll use the can of sardines, which I love. Maybe some CBD peanut butter. You could, if you have that pureed spinach and stuff, you could, before you freeze it, you could smear some of it on here. Whatever your dog likes. You could put bone broth in here and freeze it. You can put all kinds of things in here. And then your dog will just kind of lick it. And this has so many little grooves in it that it will take them a very long time <laughs> to lick out whatever it is. So this has been our solution to getting Lucy to use the dog dryer. Now she like can't wait to just sit down and lick away at this thing and I can dry her off, which is really, really great because Lucy is prone to getting hot spots in the summer and that happens because she gets really damp and wet. Um, so it's important for me to dry her off for um, her health. So this really, really helps us. If you have a dog who hates getting their nails trimmed, this could be something that could help them be more comfortable with that activity. Um, and it's just, it's just super, super great. I was gonna say something else about it, but, oh, cleaning it. Um, so I mentioned I love Topple because it's so much easier to clean than a Kong. You can actually see inside the bottom. So much easier to clean and just keep sanitized for your dog. And cleaning this thing was a little bit of a challenge. But what I found was my my kitchen sink sprayer has like the like the spray setting, the power wash or power sweep, I don't know what it's called. Um, so I put the water on as hot as it can go. This is silicone, it can handle pretty much any temperature. So I put it on super, super hot and I use the sprayer, like aggressive mode and just spray in at all these nooks and crannies until it gets the, the gunk out because inevitably your dog won't get it all out. <laughs> um, so that's how I get it all out. So um, excellent, excellent gift. Again, I would pair this with something that lets the gift giver use it right away. So maybe you give them a jar of nice, um, all natural peanut butter. Uh, I love the Justin's brand, which is available at most grocery stores these days. It's all natural and xylitol free. No added salt or sugar is what I would pick up. Um, and then that way, whoever gets this gift, they can smear some peanut butter on it right away and use it with their dog right in that moment. Okay. Excellent. Excellent gift pick. Okay. Two more things for today. It was really hard for me to narrow down the list because we have so many favorite things. This is the second to last thing, slow feeder bowls. Kind of all in the same kind of category today. You noticed a lot of food and treat and snack related items. Um, but these slow feeder bowls are something that I bought this summer and we use them all the time. The ice cream cone is by Zippy Paws. 
I really like it. I thought that these smaller compartments were going to be really, really hard. Like that's really small and, and it's pretty deep. You can like, it's my whole, it's up to that knuckle. So it's pretty deep. I was worried about how Lucy or Bert was gonna get food out of there if like one piece of kibble got down in there, but Lucy figures it out. Um, I wasn't sure if Bert would be able to do it because he's not quite as advanced as she is, um, but Bert can do this one too. So um, these are not good for dogs with snub, smushy faces, snub nose or smushy face. Um, so if you have like a bulldog or a boxer or a pug or a Frenchie or anything like that, these would not be good gifts because they might be really difficult for those dogs to use. But if you have a dog who's like a Labrador, a Doodle, a Hound, all kinds of other dogs who have longer snouts, these would be great for them. Um, and so this one is from Amazon and I'll put the link in here when we're done. And then this one is from Zippy Paws and they're just really great. They This one also comes in like a hamburger and a pizza slice. And then this one comes in other different colors as well. Um, they're really, really great gifts. And it's just, uh, especially these fun kind of novelty ones, I think would be super excellent holiday gifts. And again, these are some of our favorite things that we use every single week for me and my dogs. Guys, this is the best gift that you have to get for anyone who has a dog who wants their dog to live forever because that's the theme of the book. Um, this book is, whoops, it's a, it's a pretty thick book. As you see, I'm about a third of the way done with it because it's, it's very involved. It's very technical, um, but it's so interesting and it is full of um, the most cutting edge information and up-to-date research. The two people who wrote this, Dr. Karen Becker and Rodney Habib, they literally traveled the world and talked to scientists for canines, for other animals, human researchers. They talked to all kinds of different people to put together the data in this book. And it is just absolutely fascinating. Not only is it going to help you give your dog a better life and help them live longer, healthier lives, but I think it's gonna help you too, <laughs> um, because a lot of dog aging is very closely related to human aging. Um, so I'm, I'm learning a lot. And I think that anyone who you know who loves a dog, you should get this book. And this is, like I said, this is not a paid endorsement. Everything that I just showed you and that I'm gonna show you all week, these are just things that I am personally super passionate about. <laughs> So as, as much as I love my topples, and you know I do, I love these things. I love this freaking book. Um, so I think from today, these are probably my two top favorite things. If you're, gonna, if you're only gonna get two things from today's gift guide roundup, it would be a topple, the, the bigger one, but mine are in the freezer, stuffed with goodies already, um, and this book. Uh, and you could even give them together because they go really, really well together. Whoever loves this book is also going to love a topple. Um, and you can, even if someone already has a topple, you can get them another topple. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That is our gift guide for day one. We've got the Forever Dog book, Slow Feeder Bowls, Topple, the, whoops, lost that one, the Dripper Tipper, which you can put in the hole in the topple so you can freeze it with liquid in it. We've got the lick mat from Soda Pop, which there are lots of really cool, fun designs that you can get. I also included silicone molds because I love to use these to make dog treats and frozen treats, and they're just really fun. I think if, you, if you're shopping for someone who's a little bit extra of a dog mom, this is a really, really fun gift. And again, I, I would pair any of these things with like a can of pumpkin puree or a jar of natural organic peanut butter or something like that so that the people can go ahead and start playing with their new Christmas gifts right away. Uh, and then I also shared this Nina Audison food puzzle, which the dogs went crazy when I brought it out so you could see how much they enjoyed it. Uh, and this is a more advanced one, but I will find a level one puzzle to share when I send out all the links for this later. And so that is day one. <laughs> that is day one 
of our favorite things 2021 gift guide. Bert, are these some of your favorite things? I know that they are. So come back tomorrow, day two. These were our inside gifts. And then tomorrow on Tuesday, I'll be sharing our outside gifts. If you like to get outside with your dog or know someone who does, who you're shopping for. And then on Wednesday, I'll do day three. And that'll be kind of like everyday things that we just love all the time. Ready? Oh.